Why does heaven look like a prison? Oh, oh, stop resisting. No. <laughs> What's up guys, welcome back to Air Marty. And for today's episode, we're finally gonna reach Marty's ultimate vacation destination. Now I've been saying that this game has 64 possible endings to it, and we've now seen 57 of them. I still have no idea what's gonna happen once we unlock all of them, but I can guarantee that it's gonna be very good for us and very, very bad for Marty. So for one last time, prepare to board. Meet Marty and his family. We're on the final episode of the series. We still have no idea what the baby's name is or where it goes on these flights. Like, I'm starting to think that they might just tuck it away in Deborah's purse. <laughs> Marty's hard work has finally paid off. He saved enough for a family vacation. I'm telling you guys, the business is booming. Everybody wants to buy dick pills off the internet from Marty. Old, young, men, Women, doesn't matter. Everybody wants a long schlong. Marty is a king among e-commerce. <gasps> Won't you join them? Well, I didn't come this far not to see the ultimate ending. I'm still really curious what it could possibly be. Like maybe Marty will leave Deborah and get with Twinkle Toes here. He could do worse. She's the only one with round tits on this plane. <gasps> Welcome aboard Paradise Air Flight 316. We thank you for flying with us today. Now please buckle up and enjoy your flight. I don't think I will. In a refreshing change of pace, I get to screw up on purpose. <laughs> so you know what, Marty? You can just go ahead and uh, buckle your neighbor's nose. I'm sure that'll impress oh. the stewardess. <laughs> Gosh dang, these belts sure are tricky. Oh, there's the pointy love of your life now. Marty, stop playing around and put my purse away. Oh. Uh, sure thing, honey bun. I'll just go and secure our child. <laughs> Or will I? Actually, no. No, I don't think I will. You know, it, it, it's usually a good thing for kids. When they're small, soft, in a bag, you just hurl them across a plane. <laughs> Ouch, whose purse is this? Uh-oh. Uh hide? Yeah, yeah, we, we should probably hide. We're not really looking for any trouble right now, are we? Just make sure to tuck that nose in. That's how they're gonna catch you. Have I ever noted on how much space you have to hide? Look at the leg room around these seats. Marty, how many dick pills did you sell? <laughs> I can't believe this right now. Like, I've never seen anything like this before, just like we were never seen by that bully. Uh, didn't Mr. Peanut die? Did he fake his death to get aboard this plane? I say, son, did you happen to catch a wink of the villain who disposed of their billfold in such a violent manner? Sir, that is not a billfold, that's my child. And no, I don't know whose it is. Oh. <laughs> what? Oh, uh, 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 no, 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 <laughs> sir. Hmm, I'll see about that. Stand up to the pressure? Oh. Yeah, we are gonna need to stand up to the pressure at some point, aren't we, Marty? He's staring literal daggers at you. <laughs> Crap. Now, son, you wouldn't be telling a little old fib, would ya? Oh. I, 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 I did it. It was me. I'm, I'm sorry, so sorry. You, sir, are a vile scoundrel, and I demand the satisfaction of a duel. Oh. As you wish, allow me to don my dueling glove. He takes it with him everywhere. Do we put on the dueling glove? I don't think we will. I, I think it, it, it doesn't fit. And you know, as OJ always says, if it doesn't fit, you must quit. <laughs> I'm gonna try my best to wait this out. Uh... Oh shoot, glove's too darn small. Well, I guess that's that. You can just go about your way, Mr. Fleshy Peanut. Marty, what are you doing with my tea gloves? Sweet milk and honey, who is this enchanting flower? This is your future wife if you want her. I love his hair so much. <laughs> Deborah, ignoring the full body boner this guy's having right now, I gotta ask you a couple questions. Do you know if we're above international waters yet? And can you sell your wife while above international waters? <laughs> I'm just curious, you know, you never know if you want to let love bloom or not? Oh. 
So Marty, you actually do have the decision to make. Do you want to keep your wife or not? Oh, I'm not even controlling Marty. I'm controlling the giant diaper man with a heart attack scar. <laughs> All right, well, let's hope that we don't hit Marty here. Oh, Deborah, you're gonna be a challenge, aren't you? But if we do a little something like this, come on. Oh, that might be good, that might be good. Got her right in the schnoz. <laughs> Love at last. I was hoping we could get rid of her. It's agreed then, all assets and properties to the wife. With that, the divorce is final. Two days later. Oh. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me, man. It's just, there's never a good ending. 100% of the time, it sucks. Please, 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 please tell me if the giant baby shoots Marty, then Deborah will be the one to swing. <laughs> Come on, Marty, run into his open arms, yes! <laughs> okay, now, he's gonna be able to afford you a much better lawyer, right? It's decided then, all assets and properties to the husband! <laughs> With that, the divorce is final. 30 years later... Boy. I love you, Martin. Oh. I love you too, sweet pea. Oh. Well, that was actually a good ending. I mean, we ended up marrying and living our life with fleshy Mr. Peanut, but... I mean, you know, whatever floats your boat. Even if he was a loving husband and tender father, we're gonna have to duel him. I gotta see what happens once we put the glove on. If I can actually get it on. Come on, there we go. It's actually a little big for some reason. If you're ready, sir, the duel shall commence. How do you get that on a plane? <laughs> Provide satisfaction? Kind of satisfied him for 30 years, I would assume. Oh! Did we just get shot in the spine? Gah! Boy. Son of a... Deborah! Back it up, honey. Job's over. Aww. Oh. Uh, what? I feel like we may have seen that one before, but all these endings are kind of blending together. One kind of large delusional fever dream. I feel the need to point out that that guy straight up cheated. He did not take his paces. He didn't even turn. He just fired, shot us right in the back. So maybe we can shoot him first. There we go. That's what happens when you step up to the Martinator. I tell you, hun, this has been the best god dang vacation ever. A few weeks later. <laughs> Marty, grab my purse while you're up there. Uh, sure thing, sweetie dear. Uh, ah! For a second there, I thought that was gonna be the, the, the ghost of the kids. <laughs> like, oh, I forgot to take our baby out of the purse, dang. Listen, Marty, I know you just shot this guy in the face like 10 times, but you're still gonna have to stand up to him at some point. So now is as good a time as any. And in all reality, what do you care if he stares daggers at you? I mean, you've been in a relationship with Deborah for how many years? Social chastising is just another day. Par for the course. I mean, look at his face right now. That is the look of a man who could not care less. All the emotions of a cement wall. Boy. Yes, yes, of course, my apologies, my dear boy. <gasps> Think nothing of it, my good man. You really shouldn't lie like that, Martin. Uh, who's talking right now? <laughs> Did the lie fairy just visit us? I know that sounds stupid, but there have been multiple fairies aboard this flight. Oh. Who's there? <laughs> Of course. Good little sweeties don't fib, Martin. Yeah, but flaming cool dudes do. Don't you want to be rad? Uh. Hmm. Good little sweetie or rad. Tough decision. 
<laughs> Sinner or saint? I mean, I don't know. That That's a tough decision. I guess we can just, uh, uh, I guess we could do neither. I have no idea what I'm doing right now. Am I missing? Oh, I see. Okay, well, you know what? If that's the case, then I'm just gonna let this play out. I'm not gonna have any influence. I'll, I'll let the cards fall where they lie and just kind of keep my fingers crossed that we end up with the bad ending. Oh. <laughs> yeah, time to be rad. What should we do first, Mr. Satin? What? Mm. I think you mean Satan, although I'm not actually... Listen, Marty isn't exactly the brightest. He is talking to an imaginary Halloween costume version of himself while aboard a flight. Oh. Oh, right. Sorry about that, Stan Stan. Anyway, what do you say to a dance party? Sounds cool, right? Mm. Oh, to hell with this. Uh. Uh, hey, wait, come back. We haven't even got funky yet. Escape? Oh, 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 okay. Uh. Nope, sure didn't. I didn't realize that I was Tiny Satan. You're not going anywhere. Dance party time? Where did the washing machine come from? What room are we in? Are we not aboard a flight? Like this game just... It doesn't make sense. I can only assume that Marty is afraid to fly so he gets sedated before the flight and this is just... just all a nightmare. All right then, Mr. Satin, let's see if we can actually help you escape from Marty Hole. We might need to get just a little bit lucky because Marty is apparently a quick boy. When I'm controlling him, he moves at the speed of smell. He is a complete sloth in both speed and intelligence, but now he's like Predator. Oh. Wait! Where is he gonna go? You're on a plane. Hmm. Hello? No, I can't hang out. I have to feed my fish. Now, please stop calling. <laughs> okay then. So, Marty is apparently both fast and smart and pretty evil. Mr. Satin is probably not the best fit for us, so how about we finish off this game with the angel? And I gotta actually try now, don't I? Oh, this shouldn't be particularly difficult. Yeah, we could, we could have a, a nice clean run of good, happy, healthy Marty. Oh. You're right, I've committed a grave sin by lying. Oh. Yes, Martin. You have forever tainted your mortal soul. Uh. No! Oh. I'm afraid so. The gates of paradise shall be closed to you forever. Oh. Not if I get there first, sucker! Oh. Hey, stop right there! We're on a plane! Make it to heaven? I guess technically you're probably as close as you're ever gonna get. <laughs> oh, 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 okay. Uh, uh, no, 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 don't, 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 you don't. One long climb later. Mm, oh. Let me in, god dang you. Hmm. <laughs> what if we blow it up? or break in. Why does heaven look like a prison? Oh, oh, stop resisting, no! <laughs> What's the worst they could do, kill me? I'm outside heaven. How the hell am I supposed to race an angel to heaven? I'm not even missing any controls. It's just over and up to jump, but I've, I finally made that jump. Okay, uh-huh, good, good. God, I did it! Hmm. Hello, Martin. I'm God. Welcome oh. to heaven. Hi, Greg. Which way to the bar? Hmm. I'm afraid there is no bar here. 
No bar. <gasps> Marty, I was so hoping to end this series on a good ending. You made it into heaven. And he just went back to hell. We know that hell is full of your wife, Marty. Why would you do this? Well, it took half a dozen episodes and countless hours, but we have now seen every ending in Air Marty, except for one, because we now have End. Oh, uh, are you kidding me? So none of this actually happened? Are you trying to tell me that we didn't actually help aliens conquer America and blow up the sun? We weren't actually assassinated? Marty, do you even have a wife and possible kid? Do you sell dick pills on the internet? Was this all a lie? <laughs> Oh my god, they're not your wife and kid. They're just random people waiting for their flight. And the large hillbilly dude that you fought was your boss. Wow. You know what, I think that's gonna be it for Air Marty, guys. And at the end of series like this, I just gotta say thank you guys so much for supporting it because this has been one of my favorite games to play in a very long time. Every single episode has been so much fun to record, so easy to record, especially when I've been having trouble with my vision lately. I've been a little bit sick. I haven't been talking about it much in videos, but I have you know, on Twitter and stuff like that. And this has just made my life so much easier. Just being able to sit down and play it and have fun and get a video out to you guys, which you guys enjoy, means a lot to me. So if there are any more games like this that you guys know of, please leave them in the comments. I want to play more ridiculous stuff like this because it is just the best kind of YouTube. But thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time.